According to documents filed in a civil forfeiture case in district court Wednesday, Kendrick O. Gajo was selling crystal meth, the drug known as ice, out of his Barragata body shop, Gajo and Sons. An affidavit from Special FBI agent Frank Runnels is filed with the forfeiture complaint and reveals that a Guam police drug informant bought a half gram of ice from Gajo on December 31st of last year. That buy led to a raid on the body shop on January 14th of this year. Gajo's then lawyer, Curtis Vandevelt, wrote up a plea agreement. The plea agreement is also in the court record, and it states that Gajo agreed to plead guilty to possession of ice as a third-degree felony, provided that he served no jail time, not have to forfeit his real property, and be allowed to use $30,000 of his drug profits to pay his attorney's fees. Gajo also said that he'd cooperate fully with Guam police in their investigation by revealing his knowledge of other criminal conduct, disclose where and from whom he got the crystal meth, and tell all he knows about a 1998 murder of a woman whose body was found along the back road to Anderson. No further details about the victim or date of that murder are revealed. But it's the money that raises a red flag in the affidavit. Reynolds states that Gajo said he would give up as much as $160,000 in his illegal drug profits that he had hidden at his body shop. Reynolds' affidavit says that Assistant Attorney General Phil Tidenko agreed to the plea deal and signed it along with Gajo and Vandeveld. Then they all went off to the body shop to get the money. According to this FBI affidavit, Gajo and his attorney Curtis Vandervelt and police investigators came here to the auto body shop early in the morning on January 15th, about 2.30 a.m. Gajo took them inside and showed them where he hid his drug money. Inside a stack of old tires were two backpacks full of cash. FBI agent Runnels states that pursuant to the plea agreement, Officer Frank M. Santos was instructed to remove $30,000 of the cash from the backpacks and pay it directly to Vandeveld, which he did. Runnell's affidavit goes on to say that the balance of the cash was transported to CIS, photographed and counted by four officers. The evidence custody receipt indicates that $147,567 was recovered from the backpacks. Again, according to this affidavit, GPD officer Frank M. Santos told FBI agent Runnels that he gave the money to the property control unit, to John Titano in that unit. And Titano then told the FBI that he took the money over to the Department of Administration. But when it got to the Department of Administration and they counted it, the total came up to nearly $10,000 less. FBI agent Runnels again. The DOA issued receipt is for $137,667. That is $9,900 less than GPD's receipt shows. What happened to that money? GPD spokesman John Edwards said any questions on the matter should be directed to the FBI. The FBI on Guam referred us to their spokesman in Honolulu, Tom Simon, who did not return our call. However, PNC News has learned from a confidential police source the GPD's Criminal Investigations Division has told the FBI that the discrepancy is due to a miscount. The forfeiture case that revealed the documents now seeks to place under federal custody the remaining $137,000 of drug money seized by Guam police and turned over to the Department of Administration, which then placed it into an account at the Bank of Guam for safekeeping. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.